Here we go. The gig bag. Cool. I could use these. Nice. Look at that. How to use your fingers. Nice cords. Well, well, well. Hard rock. That's me, baby. Hard rock. <laughs> Ta-da! There it is. This little doodad on there. Pickup crap is coming off. And you know somebody could have read. Oh, look at this broken pickup. Eh, broken. Trim ring shot. So that means it took a hit on top, which the box does not look like that. There's no dents on the box. Hmm, that I can see. I'll have to look again. Well, I can fix that if I have a trim ring. The biggest thing is that it works. And it's not uh, broken or cracked anywhere. Can't see anything. I have to really, really look at it under my microscope. But it is damaged right out of the box. So that's not good. I mean, that would have had to take a good hit, but it didn't break a string. That's bizarre. You know, there's a lot of smudges. Oh, this thing's been used, man. There's all kinds of wear marks. You can see where it's been worn. Or well, that's from buffing. I don't know. I'm going to check it out and then make a decision. But that's your Leo James. Hmm. Effed up. Okay, let's give it the once over. You can see imperfections in the binding right there. I don't know if it was hit. Now, I was going to take the truss rod cover off, but the screws are so tight that I didn't want to risk stripping them, so I left them on. Um, it has pretty good action. The frets are very stiff and scratchy feeling. Like when you're bending, it's noisy. Uh, so they could have used a good polish. I'm not sure about the fretboard. Um, the biggest thing, you know, there's like major smudges all over this guitar. Like somebody had it and somebody was playing it. Um, obviously the issue with the pickup ring being broken smashed in like this plastic was all pulled back and there was all kinds of dirt underneath it that's on the pickup so like if somebody's trying to put it back on i mean how does it get moved i straighten it out but that stuff doesn't make sense the knobs are fairly stiff but not like crazy they move nice just plastic back covers um I mean, there was a piece of foam there. Why it's not there now, I don't know. But they didn't have any kind of plastic, uh, protective plastic film, and they're just like all scuffed and, like I said, like this was used or something. I don't know. Who knows? The graphic looks cool, but they're like I said, there's lots of scuffs and smudges. The neck is um, nice. It's not huge. It's not real skinny. Grover tuners. Um, it does stay in tune, nice. I did play it a little bit. Um, control cavity wiring looks good. Here's the other volume pots. These pots say CF on them. I mean, you know, typical wiring. Nothing fancy, just wire. Again, with the binding all the way back. Typical Les Paul. I don't know if you can see that with the reflections, but there's a... There's a you can see the separation in the wood. There's lines there and a line there. So there's a piece here, a skinny piece, piece here, skinny piece, and then another piece. 
so you can kind of so you can see the lines and the finish. But again, just dirt and marks all over this thing. It's like uh, if this is new, why is it not clean? Metal input jack, output jack, and that's really it. But it's uh, I am returning it. I'm not getting another one. I was buying this to use for 4th of July weekend, but it's not happening now because I'm not going to fix it and do all that work on it. Granted, it was a little over 200 bucks. Not bad. It does have a gig bag with it. Just kind of a thin thing. And uh, that's it. Leo James. Single cut deluxe. Not bad for 200 plus bucks. With a little work, it would have been nice, but... Or acceptable. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Check out my music, and we'll see you soon. Bye.